Hello everyone, and welcome back to Bad Dream Coma. It's been a little bit since we've done this, but we're on the good ending track. We're on chapter 5 now of the park. Sorry this took so long, but <laughs> there's been a lot of stuff going on since The Walking Dead came out, Narcosis came out, The Walking Dead Season 3 Episode 3 came out, and many of you guys know that Telltale stuff is like the main thing we do around here. That's our big mainstay. So we had to make sure we covered that properly. And seeing as how we had already beaten this game, I felt like this could wait a little bit. But we're back. With Bad Dream Coma, the good ending. And let's see what we can all do here. As you can tell, things are different. It's been a little while since I played it too, so I'm gonna have to try to remember how to get through things. But I do know that things are very different, and you can just tell by looking around. Like, think about nice things. We saw these other posters over here. Be happy, that type of crap. It's also different. Which I think is really cool, but I do think that this guy's still a wiener. But, I think the big difference here... Let me go talk to him. I think the nurse isn't stuck. If you want to make yourself useful, find the nurse. So yeah, he says that, but I think she, like, just hangs out somewhere. I don't think that she's actually stuck anywhere. So what did I just grab out of there, huh? I grabbed something. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the floppy disk? <laughs> My inventory was down. Let's keep looking around here. And while we do look around here, I want to say thank you to everybody who went ahead and supported on the Patreon after that video I made about future of the channel on YouTube. I thought that was very, very generous of so many of you. You guys went ahead and you looked at the description on that video and you... You went ahead and supported, which I thought was amazing, so thank you so much. So yeah, this guy says, what the hell are you doing? Are you stupid or blind? You gotta go find the nurse, right? So, I know she's around. There she is! Hey, can you help me? I need to pay for the money. I need to pay for the bus, but I have no money. Do you have change to lend me? I do not, lady, but I have a floppy disk. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I can find money if I look around here? I know there's money, like, hiding around in here. I feel like I looked at this just briefly at the end of the last time I played this, so if I peek around, there will be money just hiding around in here somewhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, the spider has a coin for me. Okay. Now we're making progress. So yeah, I had to use my magnifying glass, which I almost never use when we play this game, so that's kind of cool to use that again. Well, let's keep peeking around here. Now, I'm pretty sure if I give her the coin, she's like, that's not real money. Yeah, it's a fake coin. So I'm gonna have to find a mirror or something, if I remember, to go ahead and flip it or flip it around. Hey, this kid. <laughs> and then he opens this up in here, right? And now this is really different too. You remember how there was a big like creepy eyeball tree in here? Eyeball tree is gone. And now we got a crowbar here. Anything else to pick up? So I would imagine the crowbar is good to get in here, but the crowbar used to get the nurse out, which is super cool. Because it's totally different, and it looks like we have a new area completely, which is awesome. So we have two fake coins. I don't know what to do with both of them being fake. I gotta find a way to flip them around. Oh! Hi! Where did you come from? I think it's so different how he, like, doesn't have the mask and his hair is all nice. Like, he just seems so much more welcoming. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. I had to check something out. I, uh... We need you here. Many patients in the hospital are waiting for your help. The doctor is not helping at all. I know, it's because the doctor can't. He's ahead, okay? <laughs> He's like Nixon in Futurama. All he can do is grumble. That's why I wanted to find his body. Oh, that's what you were doing, huh? I can't do it myself anymore. There's too many patients, too much suffering. I need help. I'll try to find it. You should go back to the hospital. Okay. Can you pay for my ticket, please? I have no money with me. Oh, why, yes, I can. Just go. Wait, what? Why did I find these stupid coins, then? I love how she walks. <laughs> Is that the first time we've seen someone walk? <laughs> You're back. Do you have any news? Uh, not really. I think I'm pretty low on news. So, what you want to tell me is that Death just up and gave- Oh, she gave up her duty, so we do have to tell him about that. I forgot that he doesn't know that in this good ending playthrough. And again, if you are a little rusty as to what's going on, we're in a coma here. And our goal is to get out of the coma. This whole world here that exists is a coma, so within this coma, the only way you can get out of the coma is to die. And Death gave up on killing people because she didn't like killing people because a little child broke her heart. So, what we have to do is convince death to kill us. We did that in the bad ending, so we got out of the coma, but that was the bad ending. I'm assuming the good ending is gonna be much more of a death kills everybody type of thing. So I'll show you what goes into like the good and bad endings. 
So you want to tell me that Death gave up her duties. That makes sense, at least in this place. We should find her as quickly as we can, and maybe we'll convince her to get us out of here. You have a head of a teddy bear. Why not try to fix it? His body is in room number 15. <laughs> he spent a lot of time in the graveyard. He might have important information for us. He's an imaginary creature, but who knows? I have to do something. We'll see how you deal with your jobs. Good luck. Can I just go? Yes, I can just go. So if you look at status here, good, neutral, and bad. If you hit birds or you hurt the spiders or you poke someone's eye, or you, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do that muddy up your good ending. And then it'll force you down into a neutral ending. And if you do something really bad, you'll get into a bad ending. Right now, we're on the good ending. The spiders like us, the birds like us, and we have a good heart. If you recall from the bad ending playthrough, and if you don't recall, you can go ahead and probably look in the description. I have bad ending down in there. The whole playthrough of Bad Dream Coma. There's a lot of different things that change when it comes to the good ending versus the bad ending. And it's really, really cool to see how much the entire game has changed and not just the ending. Can I do anything over here? Do I want to do anything over here? There's this guy here. Now, one thing that's different right away is when we come back to the hospital, the guy at the camp comes in here and is suffering because of what we did to him. But we gotta go to number 15 here, huh? Well, what the heck? I thought the teddy was in there. What about you? Hey! Can I ask you for another favor? An elder ordered a meal. Can you deliver it to him? Uh... Sure. <laughs> Why not? I can't go in the bathroom. I can't go in 14. Can't do a lot of things. So... I need to be careful here, and I'll have to restart if I mess up. I have this floppy disk, so maybe I can go stuff that into this bad boy here, huh? No, do you gotta be plugged in? Can I not plug you in right now? Oh. Not even an option right now. Interesting. Usually I could turn you on. What happened to the fish? Wait, what? I never hurt the fish. Why is that broken? That's a bad ending thing. Why is this happening? Or did I? Hello, everyone. Did you order the meal? I have yum yums. Not now. Don't you see I'm busy now? You stupid or something? Man, this guy's such a grumble. Go bother someone else. Well, sorry to piss in your panties. God. What else can I do here? <laughs> what does this do? Oh, I don't know if I want to touch that. What did that do? Oh, I got a number 13. Okay. Last time in the bad ending playthrough, I think I wasn't even able to touch this. I had to steal the number off of the calendar, and then this thing was actually broken. God, there's so many things that have changed. I love it. How about now? You're still here. I'm too old to deal with idiots. <laughs> Will it work now? No? Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Can't do anything with that. I got this number. Can I put it up here? No, I cannot. Yeah, I had to steal it off of this calendar. And we're apparently in 1996, which is an interesting detail. So what can I do? Oh, so this is open now. And here's the teddy bear. These things, like, randomly lock and unlock. So you just gotta, like, go back and forth and check things. So come here, teddy. I'll put this on your head. You probably need to be sewn up, though, don't you? Can I talk to you? Yeah, you're not ready to go yet. So is there anything I can do with you? You don't seem very touchable at the moment. So I gotta get some more stuff. So I put the head back on him, and I probably have to travel back one of these two directions. Oh, dude's gone, which means he went upstairs. The number three is right here, so I need to be careful here. I need to be very careful here, because that is a really good way to get the bad ending, if you don't remember. If you give them the wrong number, you will be in trouble. So here's this guy. Ugh. I've lost the ticket. Right. So last time, I gave him number 13 right away. And I got, like, a dishonesty or something like that. Have you seen it? So I'm gonna give him number three. Thank you. And then maybe he can get some help? We'll see. But now that we did that... See that autosave? That was autosaved because that's a really big deal. What just happened right there. So, now that I did that, I probably just need to go back and forth and maybe it resets. Right, so he's in there now. These two don't have anything to say. Because they don't have brains. Or eyeballs. <laughs> But we can probably keep poking around here. Aha! Here he is. Are you ready now, sir? Where's my meal? Okay. So let's take your food here, put it in your mouth. What took you so long? How about you just get kicked right in the crotch, okay? That's what I think about you. Let's take that cane and beat you over the wiener with it. 
Are you too stupid to bring someone a meal? Oh my goodness. You're just bitter. I bet you tell kids to get off your lawn. Give it to me and get lost. Right. And now he might demand a drink here. And there's a couple of things you can do with the drink. You can get the correct drink. Or you can piss in his drink, basically. Wait! I ordered the chewed food. Does this t Do I look like someone that has teeth? Get that thing away from me and bring me what I ordered. Okay. I'm surrounded by idiots. So I'm going to get food again. And I have to get someone to chew on it. Great. Someone want to chew my food? All right. We need a nibbler here, man. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Shut up. Serve the meal, please. I can't. I know he ordered chewed food, but I won't put this in my mouth. I make it sick. I know what it's made from. Oh! In the place where it's been made. I tell you, you better not put it in your mouth. Yet, in case you do dare so. Take the toilet key with you, just in case. What? What? What are you talking about, man? So I'm probably gonna have to get water out of this when he wants a drink. Probably makes way more sense than boobies. Way more sense than taking it out of the toilet like I did the first time. Because the toilet gets you the bad ending, too. Or maybe it's the neutral ending. I don't know. Either way. Don't do it. So now we can go in here. Oh, hello, spider. Are you hungry? You want to go some nibbles? But wait. If it's bad, will that poison the spider? Okay, he chewed the food. He didn't get hurt, either. So the spider still likes me, right? Yeah, we're still good. And now he's going to want a drink after this, too. I guarantee it. So that doesn't do anything. Can I look in here? No, I can't. So let's go back, give him some chewed food, and hopefully he doesn't, like, die or get sick. I don't know. Finally! But, where's my drink? Yeah, so he wants a drink. I also ordered a drink. What a service. So I think what we might do now, seeing as how we're still on the good ending, is we probably have to go back this not way, this way, and then try to finagle this thing to give us what we want, right? So I used a fake coin. I don't know if that's good or bad. Doesn't seem to matter. You rang at me. Is there anybody there? No, it doesn't matter. So now I have a can, and then I have a can with nothing in it. He'll tell me there's nothing in it, so I need to go back to you. You're gone, but I need to fill this up, right? There, so now we got some water in the can. And then we can bring the water to the dude rather than filling it up with toilet water like I did the first time. <laughs> and we should be golden. Thank you. Maybe you're not so bad. Sorry for my behavior. Thank you for not being such a sassy frass. I'm fed up with this place. Me too, man. It'd be much better if more people acted like you. And that's that, right? Okay. So, we could probably go back and then come back in and the teddy bear is gonna... No? Okay, so we gotta, we gotta move around here. We probably have to go over to the nurse. And see what that's all about. Here we go. Give me your number ticket, please. There we go. How can I help you? I see you're fine. Have you come to ask about your imaginary friend? I have no more work to do here. I can take a look at him. Now, I feel like the last time we did this, she was, like, swamped, and there was nothing else she could do other than work. So, that's different, too, I believe. I could be wrong. But let's get her to come with me. Maybe she will. We'll go talk to McTeddy. Here we go. There you are. I need your help. Can you bring me a needle and thread? I needed to repair the Teddy's body. So, I can't remember where you get the needle and thread from. I do remember getting it. That was weird. I do remember getting it. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Yeah, it was right there in the bad ending playthrough. So let's go back in here and give this to you. Thank you. Let's get to work. <laughs> Teddy's all golden. Now, I wonder if Teddy's going to be super scared like he was last time. I don't know. <laughs> because I think you can scare the Teddy with the clown. And that contributes to your bad ending, too. So there's a lot going on. And we actually got to see where the clown video took place. We actually got to go there, which was a different part of the good ending as well. He looks good as new. Now, excuse me, but I have to go. Duty calls. Sup, Teddy? I see our friend is much better now. I hope he has some important information for us. Tell me, Teddy Bear. What were you doing at the graveyard? I was guarding my friend's parents. They lie in the ground. My friend asked me to take care of them. And then, the bad creature acted very badly. Did some ugly things. It was very rude. The creature hurt us. He cut off our heads. Oh. I wonder- So I wonder if we kind of were the creature in the bad ending. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't be scared, teddy bear. You're safe in here. I'm- We're here with you. No! I'm scared. I want to go home. Damn. Won't be any- 
way to get the information out of him this way. We have to find a way to calm him down. He has a childlike mind, maybe a toy or a coloring book. I'll be sure to make sure nothing happens to him. So, last time we did this, nurse was came a knocking, and she was like, hey, you want to give him some drugs? That might work. I wonder if she's still going to do that. It doesn't look like it. So he ain't up on the drugs, but, oh, wait, but I'm still going to need the drugs because this thing has a virus. Can I plug you in now? It still won't let me plug this in, which is really interesting because I kind of need to plug it in. Huh, because <laughs> that's how I get the coloring page, right? I go in here. Do I got to feed you a coin? Like, there's got to be something I can do here to get this bumping properly. Oh, I can get a wire out of there too. Oh, okay. So what would I want to repair? A wire and a screwdriver? What even needs that kind of help? Oh, here we go. I needed a wire right here. Because <laughs> I wasn't able to plug it in. Maybe. Maybe I need a screwdriver over here now. There's got to be something going on here to fix this. Maybe I can use a screwdriver here to get a wire. Oh, the socket was gone. I see. Okay, so this is very different from the bad ending. That's why I'm struggling with it so much, because you don't do any of that. It just is always working. So let's put the socket over here, and then plug it in. What? Oh, I had to screwdriver it in? Is that what that was? Okay, so now the computer's on. But now, we're going to have problems here, right? Because everything's broken. So I have bad dream coma to go back into that. I can't go on the internet because it's infected. The trash doesn't have anything. What I need to do... <coughs> not go into the menu here. I need to resume. Go back into the coma. And then put the floppy disk inside. And then when I do that, it won't let me open it up, right? Oh, maybe it does. Okay, it does not. So I need to actually get the pills from the nurse. Or get pills somewhere, I guess. There they are. Calm the teddy bear. The pills might help. Take them. It won't hurt anything. Okay, so now I'm going to put the pills in here. And that will fix the computer, right? Because I go into the trash, use the medicine, virus healed. And now I can go ahead and color the page. <laughs> and let's go do this proper real quick here. So we go ahead, take the colors, take the four. Oh, oh no, take the four, then use this right here. And then I can take the three, the two, excuse me, and then color that in right there and right there. And then take the sky and put that right there. And then take the apples, put that in there. And then one more, take the sun, and we're golden. And we should be able to print it off, right? So I'm actually going to save it. Printing it doesn't work, right? Yeah, so the printer's not connected, but what I have to do is delete it, right? Because when I delete it, it goes into the trash. And then when it's in the trash, I should be able to <coughs> go ahead and take it out of the trash can, right? The same way we put the pills in, the drawing comes out. There we go. So that was the part that was in the bad ending that we remember. So let's go try this out. What a nice picture. And we never scared him, which is a big deal. We were able to scare him before when we were in this chapter with the clown. So that's a big difference. It reminds me of my friend's drawings. He made very nice drawings. But then the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> he stopped using colors. My friend became very sad. He worried about his parents. They were old and ill. So his friend is the one that we meet in the apartments, right? And he didn't want them to die. Hmm. He wanted to stay with them forever. And then this is the big connection here. Now that we play through this again, this is the connection. So this friend made this note that Death read. And the note was saying, please don't take my parents, I beg you. And then Death was like, oh shit, man, I'm done. That got my, you tug on my feeling strings. And then that's how we got into this problem here, right? This kid is the reason why Death isn't killing anymore. My friend planned to stop death, to trap it. He asked for all of his toys to help. Sadly, it didn't work, but it totally did work. I mean, the parents might have still died, but death stopped after. The last time I saw him was at the graveyard. I should come back there. Now, when I got my body back, I can come back to my duties. Can I take this picture? Yeah, go ahead. It's very nice. Yes, you can, teddy bear. Keep it. Can I? Forever? Really? <laughs> Yes, you can keep it forever, teddy bear. Gee, you're so nice. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, teddy bear. You deserve it. You're very brave. Interesting. Teddy bear said something about an attempt to stop death. It was to have something to do with our problems. We need to find this person. Only a child can imagine this thing. 
like a teddy bear. But I don't remember meeting any child here. We need to find him right now. It's a dangerous place to go alone for a child. Anyway, very few can survive here. I'll take the teddy bear to the graveyard and I'll ask him which grave he guarded. Maybe the kid will come there. You should search the neighborhood. And if you find this kid, try to find out what he has to do with disappearing of death. The disappearing of death. Good luck! Hmm, interesting. So that's chapter five with the good ending. It's cool to see how all these things change. So now we're back at the apartment here. This actually took a little while, so we might end it here. But this is so cool to see all the stuff change. <laughs> now we'll see what's all the same here. Well, we got a notice here. I don't even know if this has electricity bill. So yeah, we'll need to do something with the bill. And then like, what? We have to like pay off the bill or something like that. We'll have to draw this up down here. There's a lot of things for us to do. And then I think the key is hiding in here. We use the key to get inside. And then yeah, we can cruise through this way quicker. Now that I know what we're actually doing, you know, but we gotta go ahead, open the lights. Can we break the piggy bank? Don't wanna break the piggy bank. I can put you in there. But we're gonna have to do some flipping around here. I think we use the window to travel back and forth, which is really cool. Open up everything in here, get us some lights. I can go in the bathroom, but it doesn't matter. So what I'll have to do is like flip around to the other side. He says he urgently needs treatment. The tooth fairy will get back to me. Right, so I need to get this to the tooth fairy maybe? I can't remember. I need to flip the coin around is what I really need to do. But I also need to get on over to this side, and then the piggy bank, right here, puts you into there. And then I flip back around. Let's see how quickly we can cruise through this. Maybe I can cruise through this really quickly. So I break you. Sorry, t sorry, piggy. Now I got the five coins here, or the five dollar runes. The five cents. I don't really know. But if I got the five, do I even really need the tooth fairy? I think that's a good question to ask, because I have this right here, so I can go ahead and... Put that in there. Put that in there. I need to seal it off. I don't know how to seal it off. Can I flip it around? Oh, so I need a pen. That's what I need. I need to go find a pen. So the pen's gonna be around here somewhere. Wherever that is, I don't know. <laughs> but we need to find a pen, which shouldn't be too hard, right? All things considered going on here. Now, is there anything up in here? Doesn't look like it. So let's flip around here, because we go into apartment two. This is like the really interesting part about it. We go into apartment two, and then we can check out all this stuff in here. Let's open some things up. You need to turn on, and I don't really want to use this because that might break you, right? I wonder if these are different. I can't really remember if these are different. I feel like these were much more sinister. I mean, granted, he was a pretty grumpy looking dude, but I feel like they were much scarier looking. So I just got a button. Oh, the button's for the game piece. That's what it is. Right, 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 right. Can I go in here? No, I can't. Can I do anything else in here? I need to get a pen. Heck if I remember where the pen is. The key fell into the toilet. Can you bring it out? Oh, so I gotta go into the toilet here. But you're turned off too! How are you both turned off? That doesn't make any sense. There it is. That's what I had to do. So I need to fix it. So what I do is I flip on over. I take the fuse thing out of you. There we go. And then I flip back on over again. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, what's that note? Can I read that? Oh, electrical service. Okay, so I go through here. Yeah, I remember a lot of this. We're cruising through this pretty quickly. Maybe we can get this done in one video. So I cruise through into here, put the fuse over here, and we should be able to go in here. No! Come on, turn it on. Now we can go in here. And then we get the key out of the toilet, so we need to, like, flush the toilet or something, right? Gotta do something with the toilet. Heck if I remember what that is, but we gotta do something with the toilet. And none of these are gonna be what I need here. What would I do with the toilet? I gotta plunge it or something, don't I? I gotta make the water run. I need to do something to get it going. But for some reason, I can't flush it just like that. So I gotta find whatever the hell it is I gotta do next. <laughs> so let me keep peeking around here. I need the pen. And the pen... Wait a second, if I never got a pen... How do I go downstairs? Yeah. Holy shit, man. That's like a big detail. I needed the pen. Because the pen is what lets me go downstairs. The pen was everything. Because I was able to draw the downstairs, I was able to continue on that way. So no pen, no dice, man. Literally no dice. I need to get dice in this game. <laughs> oh, there's the pen. There's the pen, there's the pen, there's the pen. Okay, so now we have a pen. Found the pen down there, so we can leave here now, I think. Pop on out of here. Draw this up right there. And then I also need the pen for this bad boy right here. Electricity bill. Perfect. Do I gotta do it again? Oh! Oh, I got a stamp off the fridge. I was looking so hard for that freaking stamp. The stamp says happy day. I don't know if it does that in the bad ending. Can't remember. But we got a happy day stamp, so now we can go ahead and send out the mail here. <laughs> and that should get the electricity back on, right? 
So I did the same thing that I did in the freaking good end or in the bad ending. And I left the freaking envelope on the goddamn table. Let's try this again. Go mail it out. So now that we did that, we should be able to go upstairs. Can I even go upstairs? There we go. So I should be able to turn everything on in here now, right? Because it was all turned off. Including this bathroom. So let's see what that's all about. What's this? There's the board game. We're gonna need to get some dice. I think I might need this plunger too. Alright, so we got the plunger. So let's go cross on over to this side. Go into the bathroom. I wonder if the mirror is gonna break. So we can plunge that out. And we should be able to go down to the bottom of everything here and get something from the drain, if I recall. Right here. So I got a key. Can't remember what the key's for. Exactly. Is it to get inside of here? No, I think it's down in here, actually. Right, and now I got a cassette player. Oh, yeah! And then in... not in this one, it's in the other one, right. So if I cross over, I can listen to something on... here. Mm-hmm! So now someone's trying to get a hold of me here. What's this? Help me. So I gotta take that. And he needs help. And now I think if I try to leave, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. So, what do I use this for? Trying to remember what I used the pen for. Because I don't want- <laughs> I don't want the mirror to break quite yet, but I think I might use it to get in here. Yeah, because I think if I click that, something will break. Is there anything worthwhile in here? Or is this just for giggles? Oh, the dice. Okay. I can't answer the phone, but I got the dice, and we did not break the mirror yet. Do I have to break the mirror? I wonder if I can just leave. I can't just leave because it's locked. Oh, the mirror didn't break. Oh, look at that. So let's play the board game here, huh? So put the dice there, and now we have to not cheat when we do this. We just have to play through the game, no big deal. So, in order to play, you can roll, and then move. Roll, and then move. Just keep going through it. And if you die, you die. You just gotta deal. Because it will let you re-roll if you die. Okay, so I think if I would've tried re-rolling there, I would've got dishonesty. I have to be careful here, because this is a really big part of the game. In terms of getting the good ending. I have to make sure I keep clicking. Not try to accidentally get greedy here and re-roll. And you have to double click it, I think, if you get hurt, right? Yeah, so if I would have tried clicking the dice again, it would have made me re-roll or it would have given me the op opportunity to re-roll, I feel. I'm not sure. Again, I don't really want to test it that hard because I don't want to get the bad ending here because we've been putting a lot of work into this. I don't want to mess it up, you know? Okay, so... Then you just gotta deal. You gotta go all the way back. And it's annoying, but you just gotta keep doing it. Because again, you will get the bad ending, or you'll at least get a neutral ending. And we don't want that. We want to get the good stuff here. That's what we're working for here. <laughs> so keep going. I wonder if it's gonna like try to test my patience here. We'll see. Three or higher, baby. There it is. I would imagine it's meant to go out a certain way. Like the dragon's gonna piss me off or something. Or not. Maybe it knows I'm a goody two-shoes. Nailed it! We did it! What is this? What did that say? I have no idea what that said. Who are you? Where did you get my game? I wanted to get rid of it because it seemed dumb to me. Well, I, we can't afford a computer for now, so I make board games. There's little we can't afford. My parents' treatment costs a great deal of money. But if you've already played it, tell me if you like it. Uh, I like. I would like to design my own game someday. Anyway, what are you doing here? My parents sent you here? I don't know where they are. I'm scared they may already be dead. I think they are too. I worried about them so much. They might have come to our old house. The one by the forest. Could you look for them? I'm too little to go there alone. Anyway, I have to watch the house. You don't need to worry about me. I'm very brave and smart. Just go! I'm worried about my parents. I feel like he wasn't quite as innocent either. Okay, so what is this? Devoted player. So I think that's a good thing, right? I didn't- I didn't- I don't think we got a bad ending out of that. 
So yeah, we're still good here. We're still good. You see? That would have been different. We would have gotten something else if we tried cheating. So we're still on the good ending path. Everything's great. Now we're back to the old house. Which I think is in the forest. Yeah, it says old house, but I think it means the forest. Or it's close to the forest, at least. So we're gonna have to get creative on how to get through here, right? So we'll see! So, this has been Bad Dream Coma, the good ending playthrough. There's two chapters left, probably. And we need to keep moving on here through the game and get as creative as we can. I don't have a scissors, by the way, so I don't know how I'm gonna cut this up to, like, get that corner out of there. But we're gonna have to be creative here, figure out how to get through things, and finish off these last two chapters. So, thank you guys. I'm trying to, like, go back. Thank you guys for being here. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being interested in this series, like me. Oh, here we go. Because I love it when you guys are interested in the same things that I'm interested in, because it makes playing through them way more entertaining for me. But yeah, all you do is, like, cut out this edge here. You go back, and then I think that lets you... I'm warning you, yeah. So he took my stuff, and I just do that, and I keep moving onward. Okay, so we're back to here. This is where we'll continue up next time. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome, like I said. Be good to one another, and I will see you guys in the next video that we do around here.